From bats with a wingspan longer than some of you are tall to spiders that look like comic book villains, here are 10 of the strangest newly discovered species. Number 10, Flying Fox. Despite its name, the flying fox is actually a bat. Imagine seeing a huge bat hanging from a tree and then it waking up and stretching its wings nearly six feet. Would you be terrified? Impressed? This strange and fascinating creature inhabits vast spaces of the Philippines and is considered to be the planet's largest bat species. It features an impressive wingspan of five feet and six inches. While that might sound really scary, don't worry. These guys aren't bloodsuckers. Even though they look pretty horrifying, they are relatively harmless to humans. They actually play a significant role in reforestation of tree-dense places across the Philippines by eating fruit, primarily figs, and spreading their seeds all over the fertile forests. They thrive in colonies with numbers that can be 20,000 strong. This strange, albeit admittedly captivating creature is getting more and more difficult to find due to the decline in the species' numbers which threaten its survival. Unfortunately, people have found a way to monetize hunting these megabats for sport, sales, and personal consumption. Let's leave these gentle giants alone. Number 9. Slytherin Pit Viper During an expedition in India during the summer of 2019, the discovery of a new green pit viper species in the Himalayan biodiversity hotspot has been named Trimesiceris salazar, or the Salazar's Pit Viper. After Salazar Slytherin, the character from the epic Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. The lead researchers that found the snake say they are die-hard Potterheads, and naming the snake Salazar Slytherin was a way to say thank you to J.K. Rowling for bringing magic to their childhood. In the beloved novels, Salazar Slytherin is described as a parcel mouth, or one who can speak parcel tongue, meaning the language of snakes. He is the co-founder of the Hogwarts School Witchcraft and Wizardry and the founder of the House of Slytherin, which is associated with the electric green color. Pit vipers are extremely venomous and found throughout East and Southeast Asia. This particular species was found in India, but there are at least 48 species of this genus found in the region. The nocturnal snake has a unique reddish to orange stripe present on the head and body of males. The rest of its body is a vibrant light green. The discovery is published in the open access journal, Zoo Systematics and Evolution. I don't think there's ever been a more appropriately named creature, do you? Also a little off topic, but what Hogwarts house are you? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments below. Also give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number eight. Phuket Horned Three Agamid This fearsome-looking semi-dragon, known as the Phuket Horned Three Agamid, looks like it could easily fit into the Lord of the Rings universe. It has been one of Mother Nature's best-kept secrets. It was discovered and described by Belgian biologist Oliver Puels, who had previously discovered about 100 new species up to that point. It's a species of arboreal lizard native to Phuket province in Thailand. This lowland, forest-dwelling species is a medium-sized lizard that ranges from 7.5 to 15 inches in length. It has a very distinct appearance. It features horns that run down from its head and stop at the beginning of its tail. It's probably an understatement to say that this dragon-like lizard might appear intimidating at first glance. But it's important to point out that these curious creatures are only interested in insects and occasionally fish. In other words, they're probably not gonna bite you. Their trippy colors are absolutely stunning, and it's no surprise that reptile lovers all over the world are already trying to acquire these mini dragons as pets. Number seven, iridescent snakes. It was the summer of 2019. In the dense forests of Northern Vietnam, a team of researchers studying biodiversity accidentally came across a beautiful new species of snake. The scientists were wandering through the jungles at night, wading through rivers and streams, gathering information about the region's flora and fauna, when they spotted a snake in their path and decided to investigate. The serpent had dark, iridescent scales, which shifted almost like a hologram. The colors went from electric blue to acid green in the light, in an unusual pattern never before seen, 
and the team immediately realized they discovered a new species. The team brought the specimen to the Smithsonian and took DNA samples. This iridescent snake is part of a rare genus of burrowing snakes that branched out from the evolutionary tree earlier than most. Because of this, they don't resemble or act like other snakes, and this information could help scientists piece together new knowledge about snake evolution. Number 6. Mouse Lemur When searching for mouse lemurs in Madagascar's forests, researchers look out for their gleaming eyes shining in the pitch black. Their eyes are rather large for an animal that is only about the size of your fist and not heavier than a tennis ball. Unlike in the movie named after the island, they're generally not rambunctious dancers who like to move it, move it. These animals are actually quite shy and they're nocturnal. And just recently, a new species of mouse lemur, which are considered to be the tiniest primates in the world, has revealed itself to scientists. And they call it Microcebus jonahi. This new species is relatively bigger than an average mouse lemur. It has a reddish brown body, tiny ears, thick fur, and a conspicuous white stripe that runs between its eyes and vanishes at the forehead. Unfortunately, like the other 107 known species of lemurs, this one too is already on the brink of extinction. The loss of natural habitats in the region lead to the isolation of small populations like this. The road to discovery is not yet complete, and other species may not have been described yet, but are disappearing without us even knowing about it. Number 5. Purple Tree Spider Crab this nature's oddity is likely to dazzle you with its appearance as well as stun you with its weirdness. This new species of tree spider crab, named Leptarma biju, was first discovered in January 2019 when Riaz A, a student from the university's Department of Aquatic Biology and Fisheries, went to Kazergord as part of his biodiversity collections on jellyfish blooms. Here is where he observed some curious crabs in the mangrove trees and granite pillars of a bridge near the mouth of the Chihari River. The crab is characterized by its squarish, smooth, light yellow shell with dark purple patches. It has long legs, large eyes, and a unique structure of its male genital appendages. Experts believe that the long legs are this species' adaptation to climb mangrove trees during the high tide. This strange specimen is notoriously difficult to find and detect due to their cryptic nature and camouflaged coloring. Researchers have concluded that this area, with its rich biodiversity, might be hiding even more species unknown to science in northern Kerala, which implies exciting new scientific endeavors that will expand our knowledge of even more undiscovered creatures. Number 4. Joker Spider Is it true when they say life imitates art? Seems true for the new species of spider that looks a lot like one of our favorite comic book villains. The Joker spider, as it's been nicknamed, was recently found in Iran by researchers who published their discoveries in the Arthropodus lecta. This both stunning and a little terrifying creature that features an abdomen covered in striking red and white splotches is named after the actor Joaquin Phoenix, who starred in the 2019 movie Joker. The splashes of vivid red really stand out on the white and black abdomen, much like the Joker's makeup. This was a good name for the spider. Good job, scientists. The spider isn't very big. It only measures about 0.3 inches and is covered in tiny hairs. Spiders like this are known as velvet spiders because of their dense velvety coats. Velvet spiders are especially interesting to archeologists because some have unusual habits, such as cooperating to build communal nests and collectively caring for their young. Alizara Zamani, lead study author, told Life Science. Discovering these kinds of spiders can be challenging because they're only active above ground only for a three-week period each year. These spiders spend most of their lives in their subterranean nests, Zamani said. Males leave their burrows to hunt for females, usually from late October to mid-November. And spiderlings come to the surface when they leave their mother's nest, he explained. Scientists have only collected and described only male joker spiders so far, but they will continue searching for the elusive females, zeroing in on locations where males have been found. Number 3. Devil-Eyed Frog In 2020, a group of researchers, the so-called Ecological SWAT Team, discovered or rediscovered 
some new or vaguely familiar species on their exploratory expedition in the misty, natural beauty of Bolivia's Zongo Valley. One of the strange species they discovered was the devil-eyed frog. This is a species scientists believed was extinct. The last time it was seen was over 20 years ago before a hydroelectric dam was built in its habitat. After many attempts to find the frog, it was assumed that it no longer existed. The devil-eyed frog is extremely small, which might have been why it was so hard to find for all this time. It only measures about 0.3 inches. This blackish-skinned, red-eyed, spooky-looking animal was subsequently re-added to the Earth's extensive wildlife index, making scientists around the world extremely happy at the prospect of studying this weird creature more in the future. Number 2. Star Trek Newt most of us have been Star Trek nerds at some point in our lives. Heck, my little sister is named after one of the characters. Nerd alert, parents. Just kidding. We all wanted to meet a Klingon and dreamed about faraway galaxies and unknown alien species. None of us really did exactly that, but luckily, we have a chance to meet a real-life Klingon, the Star Trek Newt. The relatively recently discovered species also known as the Tylo Latrata Angulosops, was indexed in the World Wildlife Fund and immediately turned heads because of its strange sci-fi appearance. The species itself, a newt between six and seven centimeters long, was discovered by a group of researchers in Thailand. This weird creature actually does look like it came from a galaxy far, far away. They are especially distinguished by a dorsal ridge and has unique red markings. Its striking red and black markings contrast dramatically with the green surrounding landscape. However, these unique amphibians are already in significant danger of extinction due to pesticides, which can easily penetrate their porous skin and, of course, massive deforestation. There are reasons for optimism, however, according to Dr. Pam Chodi. It is a rather lucky circumstance that nearly all newt populations in Thailand are distributed through many protected areas, like national parks or wildlife sanctuaries. He does stress the importance of strongly advocating for and raising awareness of the incredible biodiversity of the Mekong region and the need to protect it. And I couldn't agree more. All life on Earth deserves to flourish, so let's give this particular Trekkie its chance for survival. Number one, Carolina Sandhill Salamander. The Carolina Sandhill Salamander is one of the newest additions to the ever-growing lexicon of strange recently discovered species. Already possessing more salamander species than any other place in the world, North Carolina, with 63, can now brag about one more, 64. Carolina Sandhill Salamander, otherwise known as Eurasia aranicola in academic circles, was found associated with springs, seepages, and small blackwater streams of the Sandhills region of North Carolina. This particular creature was first considered to be the southern two-lined salamander, but researchers at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences used a new kind of genetic sequencing technology to show that the new species is genetically different in both the mitochondrial and nuclear genome from other species of the two-lined salamanders. This evidence points toward the fact that the Carolina Sandhill salamander is also different from other members of the same complex in coloration, size, and natural history. In essence, the new species is a spotted crimson-orange amphibian that dwells, as already mentioned, mostly on the springs and blackwater rivers of the Sandhills region. It looks literally like a cross between a frog and a lizard, and it's smaller in size compared to similar species. A salamander's body is slippery and smooth, unlike reptiles. First evidence of the existence of this species was starting to be collected in the late 1960s. The work was continued into the 1980s, but it wasn't until the aforementioned Carolina Museum acquired modern technology to complete the project that this salamander was recognized as a separate species. And we are forever thankful for that, since now we can all be excited to have another idiosyncratic creature to endlessly discuss and analyze. Thanks for watching! Which one of these newly discovered species was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Bye!